What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about silver but also prepping and I wanted to go over the gray man theory which essentially means hiding in plain sight. I also have a pretty interesting product that I want to review and show you guys as well. Really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. And of course, last but not least, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you refer three friends this month, Weeble's going to give you at least $150 worth of Amazon stock for free with the chance of winning all the way up to $3,000 worth of Amazon stock. Don't pass up on an opportunity. Weeble link in the description. Okay, so today is Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. As I'm posting the video, that is, it's actually Thursday the 20th as I'm filming the video, which means I have no idea what the spot price of silver or gold are going to be by the time the video drops. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today, I wanted to talk about the gray man theory, which essentially means hiding in plain sight or not sticking out like a sore thumb. Now, this mainly refers to prepping, but I can relate it to silver as well. And I want to start off by talking about prepping very, very quickly. So the gray man theory when it comes to prepping, hiding in plain sight or not sticking out like a sore thumb. When it comes to prepping, when it comes to being prepared, when it comes to general overall preparation, you want to be ready and you want to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And if you're someone kind of like me, you've probably been gu guilty of this in the past. You see something that you want to get, some prepping gear, some prepping equipment something that has to do with prepping and you see it and you're like, oh, I need to get one of those. That would make me feel ready. That would make me feel prepared. Maybe it's not tactical, but maybe it's tactical. Maybe it's something that you don't necessarily need to get, but you think by having it, it would help you fit the part, if that makes sense. I've been guilty about that in the past. I let that go a couple of years ago. Maybe you're still on that wave. I would recommend getting off of it. And the reason I say this is because if you are dressing the part or going out of your way to look the part, or if you're making it pretty much an advertisement that you are prepared, in the event of an emergency, people are going to be looking at you. People are going to be calling you for help. People are going to be tapping you on the shoulder, asking for your assistance. See, if you're bugging in or if you're bugging out, whatever the case may be, let's just say you're on the go and you're all decked out looking like you're on the SWAT team or something like that, everyone's going to be coming to you. Everyone's going to be tapping you on the shoulder and say, hey, you look ready. You look prepared. Can you help me? And it's a distraction. You, obviously, it's not the greatest feeling in the world to you know turn someone away or whatever. But in the event of an emergency, you, your family, and your friends come first. Not every other person in the neighborhood which is why it's important to blend in, which is why it's important to not stick out like a sore thumb. If you're on the go, you probably want to look like everybody else. You probably want to be that guy in a pair of jeans and a pair of boots and a DYDSS hoodie. You don't want to be all decked out looking tactical. So that's the general concept of the gray man theory. Blending in, hiding in plain sight. Now, I want to relate this to silver as well, which is what we're going to do in just one second. But before we do, since we're on the topic of prepping, I wanted to show this interesting utensil that I ended up getting for myself. And I already filmed a clip reviewing it already, so here we go. Okay, so there's something I want to show you guys, and I'll make this quick. A couple days ago, I was scrolling through Amazon. I was looking for something, and I came across a pretty interesting product. I got it for myself. And ordinarily, that would have been the end of it. Turned out, I like it so much and realized this would probably really come in handy for a lot of people that are into prepping, I had to share it. 
So for anybody who knows me, knows that I'm a bit of an outdoorsman. I like being outside. I like camping, hiking, just being outdoors. If I'm outdoors, I'm happy. And I'm also a minimalist, which means I like it and appreciate when a tool or a utensil has multiple uses in one. When it's a three in one or a five in one or a 10 in one type of item. I like stuff like that. Those things really draw me in. So I stumbled upon this product from a company called Tapiris. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored. They did not send me this. I paid for this with my own currency. I paid full price. Once again, I just ended up liking it so much, I decided to make a video and share it. So what this is right here, it's a type of utensil. It's silverware, basically. It also comes with a bottle opener and whatnot. Silverware, without the silver, it's a spoon, a fork, and a knife all in one. It's a five pack. I currently have one sitting in the sink and I have another one that I gave to my friend. So I have three on display right here, but the pack does come with five. It's a fork on this end, a knife up there at the top, and a spoon over on this end. I thought this was pretty awesome. I thought it was just a, a unique, I've never seen it before. I thought it was unique. It really drew me in. I thought it was cool. So I got it for myself and I also got a plastic version of the same thing, which I mainly just wanted to do a comparison between the two. I don't recommend the plastic. This was like, I think $3 or something like that. For $3, it's no big deal, but I don't recommend it because it's three in one. It's a spoon, a fork, and a knife. And if it's three in one, that means it's gonna get three times as many uses as a normal fork or normal spoon or a normal knife. And if you're using this three times as often as you ordinarily would, it's gonna break. It's flimsy. It's not super durable. I don't recommend it. I recommend the five pack of the steel ones instead. These are awesome. Comes with a bottle opener. It comes with this water resistant case. And I've been using this the last couple of days and I'm a really big fan. It's on Amazon for not even 16 bucks. I think it's $15 and 50 cents or something like that. Really cool, really interesting, really unique, really comes in handy, especially if you're into prepping or if you're into just being outdoors, camping, hiking. It's gonna come in handy for me. I do have a lot of vlogs on the go. I'm always filming outdoors. So something like this would really come in handy. It's also two less things to wash when you're done eating. So I thought that was pretty interesting. If you guys are interested, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description. Go and check it out. Okay, so back to the video. The gray man theory, the gray man concept. Hiding in plain sight. We went over prepping. Now I want to talk about stacking. One of my favorite things about 90% junk constitutional silver, everything you see on screen right here, just a couple of quarters and a couple of dimes over here on the, on the left side of the screen. This is what I consider to be the closest thing we have to hiding in plain sight when it comes to stacking. Of course, there's a lot of different ways you can go about stacking, but if somebody that isn't overly familiar with silver or gold or somebody that doesn't really know exactly what we're doing over here, if they see something like this, they're going to question it. If they see something like this, they're going to question it. If they see something like this, everything you see, this is what they're already familiar with. They probably have the same stuff in their pocket, except what's in their pocket is probably not actually silver. They're going to see this right here. In fact, I guarantee you there are tons of people on YouTube right now who see the thumbnail of my video and scroll right past it because they don't care about pocket change. Meanwhile, this isn't actually pocket change. This is real, true, honest money disguised as pocket change. That's what's cool about junk silver. It's money and currency at the same time. Going by face value, one of these is only 25 cents. Well, guess what? You wanna know what it actually is? It's one sixth of a troy ounce of silver, which by the way, is worth a whole lot more than 25 cents. Do the math, depending on what the spot price is. Divide it by six, that's what each one of these quarters are worth. Same go for the dimes, by the way. One fourteenth of a troy ounce of silver. I don't have any half dollars on me, but those are one third of a troy ounce of silver. 
Not to say you should get a whole bunch of junk silver and proudly display it for everyone in the world to see. Because guess what? There are some pretty crazy people out there who would go out of their way to rob someone of 25 cents. I'm not saying it's something that should be publicly broadcasted, but you stand a far better chance working with these if you want to blend in a little bit. Somebody sees this and they think it's pocket change. Somebody sees this and they think it's a normal quarter. They think it's a normal dime. People don't really care about pocket change. People don't care about spare change or loose change or, or what you get back from the cashier at the grocery store. Most people don't care about that. So this right here, in my opinion, is somewhat of a way of hiding in plain sight. If you had a glass jar, you know how most people throw their spare change in some glass jar or, or a coffee mug or something like that? If you have a glass jar or a coffee mug and you're hiding some 90% silver in there, if anybody were to come across that, they would think it's quite literally just a jar of spare change, all totaled up to what, six bucks, seven bucks, eight, nine, ten bucks? A lot of people are going to see it and not even notice. They're going to look at it and look right past it. If you're carrying it around with you, maybe you have some in your pocket, maybe you have some rolled up, maybe you have it in, in a Ziploc bag or whatever the case may be. If you're transporting money that's disguised as currency, disguised as pocket change, in a weird way, it's hiding in plain sight, which is one thing that I really appreciate about the Junk 90% Constitutional Silver. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Have you ever heard of the gray man theory before? Have you ever heard of the gray man concept? Hiding in plain sight, blending in with everyone else or everything else, not sticking out like a sore thumb. Because that right there, I would say is a key component when it comes to prepping. You don't want it to be public knowledge that you are far more prepared than everyone else. Because that just means everyone else is going to be coming to you looking for favors. Favors that they probably aren't able to repay. So head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and your thoughts on that spoon fork knife that I showed off before. If you guys liked today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for weekly videos. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs in a bunch of different designs. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways every single month, live streams multiple times a week, deal alerts on silver and gold every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. I just posted a brand new adventure vlog and guess what? There are a ton of other perks as well. VIP club link in the description. And of course, last but not least, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. The link will also be in the description. If you refer three friends to the app this month, Weeble is going to give you at least $150 worth of Amazon stock for free, guaranteed, with the possibility of winning all the way up to $3,000 worth of Amazon stock. All you got to do is click that little invite button, send it to three people that you know. It's quite literally that simple. Don't pass up on an opportunity. Go get your money. Go get your free stocks. Go get your free fractional share of Amazon. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on the gray man theory, the gray man concept, blending in with everyone or everything else, not sticking out like a sore thumb, hiding in plain sight as a person that's prepared, as a person that's stacking, when it comes to the preps, when it comes to the silver. What are your thoughts on my examples given in this video? And if you have any examples that you would like to add on, a little bit of an extension, head on down to the comments and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.